Is Leonardo Spinazzola the best CDM in FIFA 22? Today, we are going to find out. Look at those stats. 99 pace with 92 defending and 5-star skills. This guy is surely should be, the, should be the best player in the game. He is so, uh, the fastest centerman I've ever used. Obviously, with 99 pace, he's going to be fast. But compared to Tonali, Tonali is probably the fastest centerman I feel like in this game. Before him, obviously. Now Spinazzola is the fastest. But he's just, he's so good. Let's try and get a girl. Oh, early goal, no. Oh my god, Spina. This is, this is why it's the best promo in the game. Because you have a left back with just absolute insane pace. Oh, what a ball, man. That is able to play center mid and just control the game. Him having five star, being five star, four star is insane. The way he just, look at, just look at the dribble. Like, I'm dribbling in my own third. Because I just know he'll never lose the ball. Spina, look at that acceleration, boys. Good tackle as well. Pretty felt pretty strong. That's one thing you worry about when you're using uh, left backs and right backs in different positions is their strength. But he feels really strong. Oh, Spina, man, when this guy got injured in the Euros last year, it honestly just was heartbreaking, man. He's such a beast. Spina, even in extra time, the start of extra time, he still got the stamina. No! The post! Leonardo. 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 Leo. 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 Leo! Leonardo Spinazzola! For about 290k, this card is one of the best center mids I have used. High medium work rates, which I think is fine. I wish he was uh, medium high just to be a little bit more defensive. But with those dribbling and pace stats, this guy can really do anything on the field. He can play out wide. He can play centrally. Literally can do anything you want. Just maybe don't put him at striker or center back. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Incredible work rate, skill moves, stuff like that. 6-1, really good build, really good body type as well. Take a look. Obviously, the pace is maxed out. The shooting... Finishing's not great, but good shot power and good attack positioning. He makes really good runs. That's one thing I say. So even if you get him in attack position, in attacking position, and you don't want to say finish with him, he's definitely good at facilitating, passing, just setting other people up in an attacking role. Passing, ninety-five short passing and ninety-nine crossing. He's a beast, man. The, the short passing is really good. The long passing could be better, but I don't think you really need anything on him. And for chem styles, it really depends on what position you play him in because you're going to want to put a finisher or something on him to get the shooting up. If you want to play him in a sort of a box-to-box, -box, you may be taking more shots with him. But if you're playing him in a solely defensive role, shadow, not shadow, the sentinel one that boosts the physical and the defending because you don't need pace at all. He's already maxed out. But... Dribbling's good. I don't think you want to touch that at all. 93 agility, 98 dribbling, 93 ball control, 96 reactions. Very good. The reactions, very good with dribbling and sort of being a defender with interceptions, that sort of stuff. Defending, the only thing that you should get up maybe is the standing tackle, sliding tackle. That's the biggest thing with me, but he has good interceptions. And interceptions are mainly what you're looking at when you're discussing a center mid and how good they are and their positioning. So, once again, very good position because of the even the attack positioning is good, but because of the pace, he's able to recover a lot. So if you're someone that moves their players out of position, this is a great card for you because he has the recovery speed to get back where he's needed, get back where it sort of aligns the formation again and makes your defense really good. Versus you pull your defend, you pull your center man out of that position, and he's just an absolute tank. He can't get back, but. 99 stamina is also insane. 91 aggression, I think, is good enough with being 6'1. Player traits, not the best, but speed dribbler, I think, is pretty solid. Yeah, but the thing about this card that I like is you can play him in that, that left mid, right mid role if you play a three back, or you could play him CDM, box to box, even left back if you want. That's where he usually plays his other cards, not the shape shifted version, but. That's the thing, though. He's just... It doesn't matter where you play him. He's a beast. That's the, the, the cards. There's so many 99s. 99 pace and acceleration. 99 attack positioning. 99 crossing. Where's he at? More 99. 99 stamina. I think that's it for the 99s, but he has 90, 97 defensive awareness, 98 dribbling. So he's very high tallied stats for someone that is a Serie A Italian player. But if you take a look at... 
the concepts for Syria Italian players. There are a, a ton. There's a ton of them, and they're all beasts. They're just passionate, passionate players that will obviously get strong links. So there is a Berardi, Insigne, Immobile, the Tonali, Di Natale. It's just so many good players. Think if you get a midfield of Spinazzola and Tonali, you're just going to terrorize your opponents. Look at this. Look at the pace. 91 sprint speed on Tonali and then 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed on Spinazzola. It's absurd. Get Di Natale in the mix. If you did that Insigne, I really like that Insigne card. Uh, Chiellini. There's just there's so many good players that you can do. You can mix to link up this guy. Tonali, Lo the Lotaro Martinez, all icon links. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.